Alright. So my uh, my breakout track is the last for the day. So I'm standing your way between going home. So I'll try to make it snappy so that you all can cut the last train back. So I'll talk about tips and tricks securing your securing your WordPress installation. <coughs> so a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a I'm from Tank Asia as well. Uh, I'm software developer there. So besides that, uh, I'm a WordPress plugin developer. I created about twenty two plugins throughout like since two or three. So some of you may be using my plugin, just that you all don't really know that. So like page navy, post, rating, views, damage, etc. So I just joined, I bring in the tech initial, I just joined them on 1st of September, uh, three, about three months ago. Yeah. So WordPress is, uh, WordPress is popular, so it powers about 22% of the web. So like tech initial, we are using WordPress. Some of your locals might know mother, she got SG, they are also using WordPress. I think Velka Post also, they are using WordPress. So even Wall Street Journal, they are using WordPress as well. So some tech sites include like Meshable and TechCrunch, they are all on WordPress. So because WordPress is popular, so they have been the at target attacks quite around the world. So regardless of whether it's small or big site, they just, just target any random WordPress sites. So personally on my own site as well as tech initial site, we definitely has been attacks as well on our site. So here are some hack attempts. Uh, it's a bit technical, so basically what this three line of code does is, okay, what first, WordPress doesn't store your password in clear text. It's encrypted and the key is different from site to site. So there's no way a hack attacker will know your password even though he has access to your server. So the only way the hacker knows your password is basically to sneak your password when you log in. So this, what this three line of code does is basically whenever you enter your username and password, you will basically log into a file called HDSS in the plugins folder. And if the <coughs> hack, hack, hacker has access to your server, he can basically read the file. So it's a pretty smart and this is by the way origin attacks. Yeah. So the other one is once they have access to your server, they probably will upload the rootkit in your server. And I'm not too sure whether oh, it's a bit small, but okay. One of the rootkit, uh, you basically upload the rootkit to the uploads folder of your WordPress. So which I will cover later in, de in details. So basically, uploads folder in WordPress contains all the images and static files that you uploaded. So by putting a rootkit there, it basically make it less suspicious to than any normal users at all. So of course, the first thing of security one one is always keep your WordPress up to date. So the latest <coughs> WordPress plugin is like four point zero one, which is on twentieth uh, of November. So it was it fixes some uh, cross site scripting uh, issues, which I urge everyone to upgrade if you haven't already done so. So passwords, of course, besides WordPress, you must use in general any accounts you have online accounts. Just use a complex password. Actually, technically, I recommend password about sixteen characters and. But actually, my, my personal thing is, as long as you can't remember your password, it's basically a good password. If you can remember a password, it's never a good password. Because if you can remember, it means the attacker might know it as well. So for me, I'm using like one password tools and stuff to store my password, generated passwords. 20 characters, a font numeric. And I think, like for Chinese, basically, if you have some Mandarin characters you type inside, some site that support UTF-8, you can basically type Chinese inside. So I think the hacker must be a Chinese in order to hack your account. So I don't know try whether it works, but I think it might work. Like, yeah. So of course, uh, besides compact password, a very important thing is to use a second factor authentication. I recommend everybody use it. Why? Because it's free. So there are two plugins on uh, WordPress that Google Authenticator as well as Authentic Factor. So once you install the <coughs> plugin, you can basically uh, go to your uh, Apple App Store or Google Play, download the the, the mobile, and you will generate a time-based token that you can use together with your login uh, when using the password, and you can put the code here to login. Yeah, so it's free. Go ahead and use it. Yeah. So in this case, if in the, my first hack attempt, if the attacker gets your username and password without the token, they also can't log into your account. So it's pretty good. So another uh, so I think this is a bit more technical. So I recommend protecting your whole WordPress admin with uh, HTTP off. So basically, is what 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 it does is basically when user enter before it even shows the login form, it will basically shows a uh, HTTP authentication from your browser to key in a username and password. You can, if you're using, uh, if the site is being used by a lot of editors and authors, you all can have a shared username and password. So basically that acts as the first layer. Then when the password is correct, it basically loads the login form for the second layer authentication. Then if you have another two FA, it's basically a third layer. So it's pretty well it's secure. Yeah, it's super secure. But of course you need to weigh security versus convenience. La. So in tech nature, we don't use this because it's a little bit inconvenient for some of the editors as well. Yeah. So also, of course, uh, SSL cert is cheap these days, so I really recommend to use uh, buy a SSL cert, like twenty dollars US a year. So Black Friday just passed. I just got SSL cert for like ninety eight cents for one year. 
So you can keep out next Black Friday you get a cert. So basically SSL encrypts the uh, information between your browser and your WordPress admin. So once that's done, you basically have to define these two variables in your config and the whole admin panel will be in will be secure. That's easy. Yes. You can see the screenshots. So this is a bit slightly also more technical. So file and folders, uh, in general, file and folders should only be readable and writable by the owner, which is normally is the Apache process. And uh, it, you can do this by basically uh, chmod, which is change permission to all files to 644, and basically folder to 755. You can basically run these two comments in your Linux console for those technical safety and it will work. So as one of the first few slides I mentioned about WordPress uploads. So because WordPress upload stores, everything that you uploaded. You can even upload a PHP script as well. So because of that, it's a very common factor of attacks. So no ma not many people monitor that files there. It's <coughs> really very hard to notice. And normally when those users, when they encounter problems uploading to this folder, they will just see more into 7.7, which is everybody can upload to it. And because that uh, author, uh, hacker that has access to your server, they will always put a rootkit there, a PHP file there, so that you will never, no never notice it. So basically, what my rule of thumb is, this folder should only serve static assets and not execute any scripts. So this link here basically, uh, you can copy and paste the code and paste it in your HTSS in that folder. So when user uh, when user try to upload a CGI file or even a PHP file, it basically just show the source code. So it will never be executed. So I really recommend everybody to, to do this. It's pretty, pretty important, I think. <coughs> also, security also comes with uh, monitoring or change files. So I basically monitor my change files on the site on a daily basis. So personally, I'm using a cron job, which basically does a find the folder name, and m time minus one means any file has been modified within the last 24 hours. It will send me a copy. It will basically send me a copy, and you will see which file has been modified. So if you did not modify any of this file, you will say, go and take a look at the file, or do some auditing on your servers to see how they get in the first place. Yeah, this is... So something even more technical, uh, which we basically use in Tech in Asia as well as my own site, so we have two main folders, which is basically core and content. So core is basically a git checkout of the WordPress the GitHub repository. So whenever there's a new version of WordPress, you can basically click the update button. Or for us, we always go to, we just basically go to that folder and do a git fetch text and git checkout 4.0.1. That will update us to the latest version of WordPress, whichever that is. And the next folder is basically content, uh, which is a private repository of our active teams and plugins, teams and plugins that we uh, use. So if you go back to a parent directory, if you do a git status, or even a git div, you probably will know what are the file that has been changed. So it's something like the m time minus one as well, but this one will be more specific, it can tell you the file contents change as well. Backup, okay, yes, backup. Backup the database regularly, that's a uh, uh, one-on-one as well. So for Tech in Asia, we backup every two hours once, because we have an average about 20 posts a day. So if we need to restore back to something, uh, two hours one will be a good timing. If not, if you block like at least once or twice a day, and I think basically uh, regular one, once a day is fine to backup. So I have a plugin which is DB Manager, which allows you to backup database automatically. So once you backup, it will basically mail you a copy of the database in a GZIP format. So basically you can keep it in Gmail, have a filter and store it in a folder. So you have every day backup, you basically know where, when to store it. And you also notice that the database size does increase as well. So if you notice something exponentially increase in your database size, that means the hacker might have access to your database and they dump something in your database as well. So for uploads folder, it's basically all your images and stuff. Like it's good to back up as well, but it'd be weird if, you're, if you back up the database and when you want to restore your site on another server, you don't have the images to restore as well. So, but backing up uploads folder is a very intensive task because easily you can use up 20, 30 gig of data, of uh, transferring data. We, I recommend totally basically S3. Uh, there's a utility called S3 CMD, which basically syncs your, syncs, you can sync any folder to a S3 bucket. So you can sync it like, like 4 a.m., those type of time where your server is the lowest speed at all, so that it will not interrupt any requests going to your server. So now I will talk about uh, two commercial plugins. WordPress is by Automatic, the guys behind WordPress.com. It's a paid service, so it real it monitors your change. There are many plans available, so the basic plan I think does monitors your file for just backups your database and your files to their server, and they also does automatic restore if there's anything happen. So they also scan your file for MD5 hashes to see whether any of the core files has changed. 
So basically, if you know you're a bit technical, you can basically whatever I did, you basically covers this. So for the non-technical guys, you can pay, you can basically pay for the service uh, by WordPress. Okay, the other one is WordFence, which is another pretty popular, uh, which is pretty another pretty popular plugin. It's called there's a free and a paid version. So the paid version is about thirty nine dollars a year. So. So basically, it has a. The list is not complete, but okay. It has, a, it has some very nice features. It includes site repair as well, uh, similar to what the WordPress does. You also scan your file for changes. And one thing I like is the Joe IP blocking. So basically, they can only allow certain countries from logging in. Let's say you know that all your editors are Singapore and they don't work overseas. So you can basically restrict logging only from Singapore IP address. This should be basically prevent quite a lot of uh, attacks on your server as well for logging in. Okay, I come to the end, it's about like, 11 minutes, so it's a fast one. Because before, actually, it was supposed to be a Drupal group, so, yeah. So it's a summary, so basically I cover like, uh, password protected, I mean, HTTPS, files, permission. The upload folder is the most important, actually. Uh, try to go for the 2FA and the uploads if you really have to take away from this session. Yeah, monitor the site changes, yeah, good to have. I will share these slides with the organizers. Then they will upload it somewhere. <laughs> because I did the same talk on a Singapore WordPress uh, user group as well. So this is a rehash and an updated version. So here are some references. For starters, actually, you can take a look at the WordPress.tv slash text security. You can watch about what are some security things that a uh, plugin and team developer does as well. Yeah. The first thing is quite important as well. You can read how they, how they, how they, how they harden your WordPress. How they use your WordPress. So any question, you can basically tweet me, find me, Facebook, or you can just do a lesser try you can find it. This is before 11. So yeah, any questions, you can tweet me. How many of you actually were using WordPress? Actually? One, two, three, four, okay, quite a lot of people. Or technical or non technical? Technical, yeah. Cool, then this is it for you. Yeah. Basically, you can just copy and paste whatever slide and works. <laughs> it's proven. Yeah, proven. The last trade home. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lester. Sorry, Thank you. Thanks, guys. Any question you can just tweet me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all of the uh, breakout track uh, material will be uploaded in YouTube, uh, courtesy of Michael Chang and engineer. Just type engineer.sg. He will upload all the video for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.